So we have question 20 here of the past paper, which I will list down below. And we need to make X the subject. And we have rearrange Y is equal to 5X plus 9 over X to make X the subject. Now making X the subject effectively means you have X by itself on one side of the equals and then everything else on the other side. So for example, we currently have Y as the subject. Hopefully that makes sense. So if I wanted to make X a subject, the first thing I like to do when rearranging any formula is get rid of anything that's divided by so get rid of anything on the bottom. So for example, we have X on the bottom here. So I want to get rid of that. So let's times both sides by X. Now by doing that on the left hand side, we're going to have X, Y. And because we're times in the right hand side by X, we're going to get rid of that X on the bottom because it's going to cancel out. So that will eventually leave us with X, Y is equal to 5X plus 9 because as I said, the X is cancel out. Now from here, you want to get all similar terms on one side and all the other terms on the other side. Now similar terms in this case are going to be any terms with x in them so everything with an x we want to get on one side and everything without an x we want to get onto the other side so let's subtract 5x from both sides so that's going to give us x y minus 5x is equal to 9 because on the right hand side it'd be 5x minus 5x plus 9 so they're going to cancel out so now we have x y minus 5x is equal to 9 we want to work out hey these are both multiplied by x on the left hand side let's take out the common factor so for example we can take out an x and we're going to have y minus five because if we expanded that back out it'd be x y minus five x so we know x times in brackets y minus five is equal to nine from there we just want to divide both sides by y minus five so that's going to give us x is equal to nine over y minus five and that's going to be making x the subject of the formula hopefully that was clear i hope that made sense if it didn't leave any comments or questions below best of luck with your maths and thanks for watching the video